Hey guys, what is up? So finally, uh, the patch notes for this update is out. This update will be in justice to uh, 6.3.2. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at the update, uh, the patch notes. So, uh, greetings, heroes, happy October. All right, so let me, okay, yeah, this is where it is. Thank you for updating to version blah, 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 this update. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so new daily objective. A new new daily objective, daily conqueror, complete seven daily objective to unlock rewards like prismatic shards. Okay, so there will be a new objective, which means that if you complete seven daily objectives, you will unlock rewards like prismatic shards. Okay. Quality of life improvement. All right, so improved filtering. As I actually mentioned this before, and this was a rumor as well, where, uh, you know, we get a new filter or an updated filter for Rasta. Uh, quickly assemble the ultimate team with new hero gears and artifact filtering options. So new filters, maybe I think they added uh, filters for different solo raid artifacts. Plus, they have also added, uh, uh, you know, finally they have added uh, an option to shatter multiple artifacts together. You know, I used to spend literally hours shattering those Azure artifacts. Now it will be a little easier to shatter those artifacts uh, by setting a level range. So maybe it's like you can shatter artifacts to level eight, level nine, according to their levels. All right. So let's see. We got to take a look at that artifact shattering because I'm kind of confused because there will be a lot of good artifacts to at that particular level. So maybe there is something else which they did not mention. All right, so new profile pictures, MK1, Chaos Reigns, the Joker. That's the profile picture, actually. Halloween, Wonder Woman Day. Halloween, available on October 14th. Wonder Woman, October 24th. And then finally, there will be Thanksgiving, which will be next month on November 28th till December 6th. But yes, we'll definitely get... Now, these are only profile pictures, so don't get excited by listening to the name, the Joker. All right, let's see what else do we have. Free gifts for Wonder Woman Day events. All right, so Golden Armored Wonder Woman free shards. Mythic Wonder Woman. Or the you can get one of these, actually, not all of these. And uh, you will get a chance, a bonus gems, 200 gems. Just 200, guys, come on. At least you could have made it 1,000. Yeah. Maybe that's too much expectations that I'm having with these game developers. Okay. Wonder Woman Day login calendar, all right. Classic Wonder Woman arena invasion, okay. Lord Namo Wonder Woman versus challenge, okay. That's no big deal. Halloween, uh, Halloween events and gifts. So daily free gift from October twenty fifth till eleven one, which means uh, October November first. We'll get these gifts for six days. So we'll get artifact reforges, gems, and much more. That's what they've mentioned. Uh, Halloween profile picture, October 24th till November 4th. Trick or treat. Uh, get in the Halloween spirit and spook up your profile with an exclusive injustice to Jack O' Lantern. Profile pick, okay. Available for a limited time. So there will be new solo raids too. Kingdom of Madness, as we already know. Dark Knights as well. The next one will be Kingdom of Madness from October 7th. Next five days. And Dark Knights from October 23rd. All right. Halloween login calendar as well from October 25th till November 1st. Don't miss the limited time only Halloween login event. Participate daily to earn special rewards. All right. Elder Swamp Thing invades. All right. So a chance to get Elder Swamp Thing gears. Uh, this Halloween. All right. So they have not mentioned, they have mentioned a lot of event and stuff about Halloween and uh, and not really mentioned which chests we're going to get on sale. All right. So bug fixes are also there. Uh, bug fixes. The first one is for Constantine, Antigua, Scientia, Scient Scientia. I think that's what it said. Is now fixed to provide the combo meter hit bonus at the start of the battle. Okay, let's see how it works. Radiance passive florist victory is now giving damage buff to the first Mortal Kombat team member in the slot for each opponent's empty power bar. Okay, we know that, but I don't know. It was a bug because I never used the entire Mortal Kombat team. Next only an adjustment has been made to ensure the numerical values listed in the passive and special attacks description for Peacemaker Arm. 
All right, many of the characters are mentioned reflect the hero's current level. Okay, never noticed that. Improve the display of the in battle buffs. Zatanna, Scorpion, Elder Swamp Thing, Girl of Steel, Supergirl, and Mythic Wonder Woman. All right, these are UI. Oh, I'm sorry, the bug fixes. Uh, all right, we, big, we fixed a bug that allowed rise of Krypton. So, bosses Harley Quinn to heal from her hazard. Yes. Okay, so that's pretty much it uh, for the patch notes. Plus, there is one last thing which is also going to be a very important uh, update. So, they have mentioned we have added a new option for players to earn additional solo raid attempts by watching ads. So, we had this in Mortal Kombat where we need to spend souls to refresh tower attempts. But over here, we need to watch an ad to get an extra attempt. Now, the question is that is there any uh, requirement or is there any uh, particular level that player has to be on in order to get this ad and get the seventh uh, solo raid pip? So, and also the question arises that just one more pip or we get an entire refresh, like we can play all the six pips again. I don't think we can play all the six pips again, but I think they'll just give one pip. They have not made it very clear over here so far. Uh, so yeah, I mean, they haven't really mentioned about putting in a new character. Maybe, yeah, maybe they will update us uh, in the coming days. But so far, we have no updates on a new character. We have no updates uh, where people were saying, a lot of people were saying that there will be a arena season for legendary characters. So that's not going to happen, looks like it. Because they haven't mentioned it. So this update is 6.3.2. Maybe we'll get something like that in the next update. So you can check the patch notes, guys, if you want to from the Play Store. Just in the description of the game. If you click on Release Notes, go back a little bit. Uh, you know, Then you can also check out uh, the previous patch notes that we have gotten from injustice to as you can see this the last one was 6.3 now this one is 6.3.2 all right so a few things that are very uh good additions which is the artifact shattering uh, uh and there is a seventh pip for solo raids there are some good rewards too free rewards not huge but good uh I mean, yeah, I, I, I was kind of expecting a little more, you know. It's not a lot of changes that they've made. I was kind of, maybe I was just getting too greedy. Let me know what you think about these updates and these uh, changes that have happened in the game. And uh, yeah, you know, once the game is live, I'll upload another video seeing the changes do actually work. And, and a lot of things are not very clear over here, like uh, the requirements for solo raid attempt refresh, uh, plus the shattering artifact thing. You know, I'm not exactly sure how this will work. So we just have to wait and see. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to upload another video once the game goes live. All right, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.